did not set the redirect correctly. So, maayong chu. Ya, hello. Guys. That game is kind of interesting, but at the same time, not? There's something about the writing that throws me off. It's like, uh, it feels like all of the dialogue could be cut in half and it would still deliver a really good story. Right? They talk a little bit too much. It feels Western. Arc Knight Syndrome. <laughs> Western? Well, like, how, how do you how do you mean Western, right? How do you mean Western? Um, I would much rather play a two-hour game that delivers a really nice story than uh, like a, a padded one with lots of backtracking. Hmm. I know about it. But it does make me feel nostalgic for the life back in the 90s or early 2000s. Okay, I I I don't I don't know if I remember much about the early uh, 2000s or the late 90s, but I, I feel I feel like that game captured uh, a really good time period. It's not exactly the same as the Philippines, but it was able to it was able to make me feel like oh shoot I'm back. The art was amazing. The art is amazing. Yeah, definitely reminds me of early two thousands. Back when I was in. Um, and like uh, grade school, uh, I don't remember there being net cafes in the Philippines when I visited, or maybe there were. I just didn't go outside because we had air conditioning at home, so I didn't want to go outside. You know what I like about that game? It's mostly because uh, it's good Indonesian culture represented. It's like, it feels nice to have Southeast Asian culture shown in a video game in a positive light. Because usually, um, when, when you see, when you see uh, Southeast Asia in video games, it's like uh, this dirty place that uh, like nobody wants to go. And like, you hear it a lot. Like, especially in jokes and memes and like the... Um, I guess the general sentiment is... You know, nobody wants to be here. And I remember I was talking to a friend and I was like, You should visit the Philippines. And they were like, you're done with the game already? No, I'm not finished with the game. But I stopped for today. Hello, Captain Anon. And like... My friend was like... You have not got given me a good reason to go to the Philippines. Every, every time that you talk about the Philippines, it always seems like you and everyone else are suffering. And I was like... Maybe I'm part of the problem too. <laughs> Maybe I'm part of the problem. Hello, Invincible Dragon. I don't want to. I don't want. I don't want to be someone that turns people away from like going here. You know. <laughs> hello, 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 arsonist. Life here can be suffering sometimes. Uh, life here... Life here can be... Suffering? I mean, 
life here uh, i don't know i don't know I, I remember last stream we talked about like what are the positive parts of being a filipino and like i drew a blank i drew a blank like very sad right very sad but before that um what is what is the positive parts of being a po uh, like a southeast asian a lot of people say they, where they live sucks, but still have endearment towards it. Yeah, life anywhere can be suffering depending on situations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, very often, I, I don't know why, but this is very... This is very localized to the Philippines. But there is a huge amount of cringe that comes with our own culture. There is a lot of cringe that people feel towards their own culture. Especially when... Uh, when Philippine dramas like start getting exported overseas, everyone's like, "Ew, that's cringe." Philippine remakes of Korean dramas, that's cringe. Philippine pop idols, oh, uh, that's cringe. Uh, uh, Philippine anime, oh, that's cringe. Like people, people feel cringe towards when um when Filipinos try to do something to match other cultures. Someone I spoke to does I should be like see Brazil. I don't know. Barangay one four three was good. Yeah, 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 yeah. I heard Barangay one four three was alright. I, I so I watched the first episode of Barangay one four three. Also, I don't believe it. See Mexico or see Brazil. All dramas are cringe. Yes, 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 yes. I, I would say all dramas are cringe. Like, man, all these people who say Philippine dramas are cringe, have they ever watched a Korean drama? That stuff is double cringe. I agree with C Mexico, given our Spanish colonization. I feel like we were col colonized in very different manners. Japanese dramas, those are cringe as well. Also, <laughs> all dramas are pretty badly acted over here. Like, people make fun of Philippine dramas for, uh, I miss the glory days when our rock stars were ruling the airwaves, not modern K pop. I mean, I complain about K-pop, but I like it. <laughs> hey boy, it's gonna be alright. Hey girl, better make it right. <laughs> Good, got gotcha back. Good, got gotcha got your back. <laughs> I was so fucking. Do you just have a thing you can? Do you just have a thing you can complain about the things you like? Maybe. I mean, I complain about the things I like. Of course I complain about the things I like. Because I want it to be better. Patriotic Teremu wasn't something I was expecting today. Well. Another six hour stream. No. Holy crap. We've actually been streaming for a couple while. I don't think I can do a six hour stream today. I, I don't have the capability of that. What makes local soaps to me cringe is that they overuse tropes. Oh my god, you're gonna be, you're gonna be so surprised when you watch Korean drama. Yeah, instant noodle. When you watch Korean dramas, and it's the same, it's the same shit every single time. I've watched a couple uh, Korean rom coms, and it's the same shit every single time. It's gonna be like a rich girl, a rich boy, poor girl. Somehow they're, um, what do you call it? They're bound by circumstance because I don't know. She becomes his secretary. They do lean heavily into tropes, you know, something like that. That's exactly what I was saying on my parents. Yeah, it's the same shit. Drama, but anime. I mean. Even anime is the same. 
<laughs> well, no, 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 no. The rom coms. That's what's popular nowadays. X son is Y. When you see a title like that, run. X son is Y. Or I was reincarnated in another world and blank. You should watch Chinese drama. I have watched、uh, Meteor Garden and that's it. Meteor Garden 2 and that's it. That, that time I was blank. <laughs> Hmm. Oh. Oh, Lord.、Oh. Hmm. I see. Okay.、Um, <laughs> thank you. Thank you for that. Yeah. <laughs> well, 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 well. I, I started watching a little bit of、uh, Philippine drama, like Amaya. That was, that was good.、Um, I like Captain Barbell back then. And it's true that there is a point where Philippine drama tries to copy、uh, American series. Like, like、uh, do you remember the Captain Barbell revival? Because there, there used to be a there used to be a TV show in the Philippines called Captain Barbell. He was a captain and he had a barbell and he used that barbell to turn into a superhero. And that was my favorite superhero back then. And. <laughs> yeah, fitting name, fitting name. And when Marvel became the big thing. They had a revival, Captain Barbell 2011, wherein he had his own group of Avengers. Hello, Wisconsin. He had his own group of Avengers. And it was pretty much a copy of Marvel's whatever. And I thought it sucked. Quite a ride that was, huh? Quite a ride. Marvel is boring nowadays. I have never liked Marvel. Never in my life did I enjoy a Marvel movie. I hate, I hate the, I hate the stupid, cocky protagonists. The cape shit. What is cape shit? What?、Oh, like, um, I hate it when they go like something, some, something happens, and then, and then they look at the camera and they're like, well, that just happened. And I'm like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> well, I, shut the fuck up. Oh, you mean the quirky stuff they would do? Yeah. What is the blanket term for all superheroes? Yeah, bad visual effects. Yeah, pretty much. It's right behind me, isn't it? <laughs> it's, right, it's right behind me, isn't it? Fantaseries. Jimmy had fantaseries.、Um, you, know, you, know, you, know, you know what? I don't care about bad production value because I watch some Super Sentai and Kamen Rider, and I think like, the cheesy. Special effects is fine. It just needs good direction. Even, even if the bad, even, the, even if the effects themselves are bad,、uh, the, if, given a good direction, it's good. Do you read Spirit Shuckle? No, I don't. It's I don't. Kamen Rider is so good. Yeah, Kamen Rider is so good. What about Cheesy Gordita Crunch? I don't know what that is. Pandai Kestala. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was a, there was a crossover like that. Do you know what, what,、uh, what show I really like? Indio. Man, if only, if only the actor of Indio wasn't the actor of Indio.
because that show was about like um this was during the time where colonial era dramas was really good oh oh my god speaking of colonial era dramas speaking of colonial era dramas hold on hold on everybody you have uh if if it's if it's possible for um if you slurp your food like that won't it splash everywhere no it won't um i i i'm careful but uh, there is a uh, Maria Clara at Ibarra. It's literally an isekai. It is so nice. It is so good. Maria Clara at Ibarra is on Netflix right now. I don't know. I don't know if you guys. Yeah, that show. It's on Netflix too. Yeah, it's on Netflix. Mm -mm 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 -mm. This set was so nice. It was fun. You might pass. You don't like this. You don't like Suzette Doctorero. I don't like Suzette Doctorero. But you know, <laughs> sometimes a broken clock can be right twice a year or a decade. You know? <laughs> I never thought of it as an isekai until now. <laughs> it is an isekai. Yeah, I'm brutal. She, she wrote something good for once. Reminds me of my history classmates back in college. Hello, Ren. So, regarding uh, cultural cringe, uh, I've said it before, but it is actually a it is actually a very big term, cultural cringe. There was, it's like a, it's like a, what do you call it? An inferiority complex. Why? Uh, once again, I, I will explain that we had a caste system wherein if the more, the more Asian you are, or even the more Southeast Asian you are, the lesser you were in the caste system of the colonial Philippines, which is why it was uh, reinforced like that. Are you going to watch K drama? I mean, I'm not opposed to it. Ijime. What Ijime? So, nowadays, we have gone to uh we have we have created this sort of culture wherein we believe we 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 have we we believe that Western culture is superior, but at the same time, we still uh, want to have our own version of it. And we want, like, how do you say this? We, lots of Filipinos want white people to approve of them, right? <laughs> that That's why we watch Jolli Foreigner Eats Jollibee videos. That's why we watch Foreigner Eats Jollibee videos, because we want uh, white people to say, uh, yeah, you you Filipinos are all right, actually, right, right, right. Do you understand? They do. Yeah, we do. We want that approval. If you put it that way, it makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> right. Which character did you play in the Hostel Rizal's movies back in high school? We didn't do that. Well, damn. And even if I say this, I'm not immune to it. I'm not immune to it. Uh, even I, if even if you look at my YouTube search history, it's like full of uh, uh, like Jollibee rated the top fast food in uh, America and stuff like that, or. Um, I don't know how much can we eat with this amount of fast food like mm, do you like sports I do not it's like a it's like a form of ego searching right it's like it's like a form of countrywide ego searching 
<laughs> on YouTube. As long as you're aware of it, it's fine. Yes, it's fine. But external validation is only good in moderation and you have to have something that you're actually mm, in internally you have to have something you're proud of and i that's why i feel there's a certain sense of onion skin that happens in the philippines this is the only country where i know that person the word the phrase persona non grata is a common phrase this is the only country i know where that is such a common phrase everybody knows what that means because it's used so freely it's like foreigner insults um a, a philippine news reporter let's declare him persona non grata he hurt our national feelings, right? He hurt our national feelings. Is it because we didn't get the approval that we seek from, like, white people? Right? It doesn't really do anything. Yeah, it doesn't. I don't know if it does anything. I, I really... I really feel like there is a process of cultural creation. Hmm. And I, I, I genuinely feel like P-pop or Philippine idols are one of the greatest harbingers, harbingers of what is now a uh, a Southeast Asian cultural wave. Kind of like the Korean wave. What about J-pop? I love J-pop. Uh, I would say the the peop the countries that are in the foremost um, tippy top of the Southeast Asian wave are uh, Thailand and... Indonesia? Palabra de honor. What is palabra de honor? Word of honor. Mm, I don't know this one. I don't know that one. I sincerely hope that it takes off. They're quite talented. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, It's a war there's a clash between major civilizations clashing with minor ones. Mm. What is John Cross? Man, this show was so good. I I can't I can't believe Barbie Forteza. <laughs> Barbie Forteza was really good. What a tippy top show. And uh, someone here earlier was uh, saying that indie indie films in the Philippines are really good. For some reason, they're really freaking good. They're really freaking good. I've only talked about this one once before, but it's a it's a movie called um, was it a fan? Was it a uh, Paulo Paulo Avelino movies? Because Paolo Avellino, um, okay, okay. Re remember, a long time ago, we watched General Luna. Uh, I don't know if you were there. General General Luna was a film that was about a general fighting against the American forces in the Philippines, and uh, we did a watch along of this. It was a very big film. It was a very popular film. I went to the theaters. I watched it by myself. I cried in the theater. And then I went home feeling like, oh man, I gotta, I gotta, <laughs> I gotta save the Philippines. I gotta save the goddamn Philippines. A and then it, it released with a sequel called Goyo, right? Puñeta. 
the watch along was a long long time that was a long long time yeah it, it, there was a there was a sequel called goyo mm -mm -mm. Was featuring paulo avellino um he was very well he's a, he's a, he's hot so you know he's hot so like a lot of people wanted to watch this and paulo avellino had another movie had another movie called fangirl Basically, Paolo Avellino plays himself, the the boy general that was pretty much like um. How the fuck did it go from Goya to Fangirl? That that's the thing. It's really interesting because he he amassed a following of fangirls, right? Because of his roles as like the cute boy in a lot of films, and in Fangirl the movie. He plays himself. He plays it to a scary degree. You watch it, Gabby? Nice. Um The the girl who interacts with him, the her idol, you know, her idol Paolo Avellino, he turns out to be a creepy, uh, a, a piece of shit. Uh I won't spoil the rest of it, but he, he's just a bad person in in uh in reality. And uh it takes a lot of guts to portray yourself as something like that. A meta piece featuring yourself. Yeah, a groomer. Yeah, he was a, he was a groomer. Yeah, to portray yourself negatively. Very interesting. Very interesting. And I thought that was one of the greatest pieces of movies I've ever watched. Not a perception of himself, but actually himself. Yeah, he, it was actually himself. He was he was like portraying a fictionalized version of evil himself. That's cool, actually, right? Very cool. Very cool. What are your thoughts on Mon Confiado? What is Mon Confiado? Mon Confiado. Who is this guy? Oh, he was uh, Emilio Aguinaldo, right? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, he played the villain in General Luna, <laughs> and now because uh, because of that, I, I have a I have this parasocial distaste for him. When I saw his face, I was like, "This guy's bad. This guy's bad. This guy's bad news." <laughs> I saw his face. I was like, There's "Something wrong about him. He's 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 a, he's a bad guy. <laughs> he just looks like a bad guy, doesn't he? He looks like he's a villain." <laughs> That's, that's mean. That's mean. That's mean to say, but he is. He he looks like he'd play a mean villain. Guess he's effective. Yeah. Ow. Ow. Typecast a villain. Also, you know what sucks. You know Pinoy Henyo. The Pinoy Henyo game. The nicest actors play the nastiest villains. I heard that too. You know Pinoy Henyo? For some reason, it was adapted by Hel Ellen DeGeneres into a game called Heads Up. And it's like, it's like super, it's like super popular on the app store. It's literally, it's an app created by Ellen DeGeneres. I was like, shut, shut the fuck up. We only have we only have a few inventions. Yeah, we only have a few inventions and you're going to take that from us? No, Ellen DeGeneres, you're not generous. Hello Pepega channel. That's one hell of a name, guys. That's one of a name. I don't know if Pinoy Henyo is the originator of it. Pinoy Henyo is the originator of it. It's, 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 it's it is. It is. I tried to find the source of it. There was nothing. Ellen DeGenerate. Gen yeah, she's DeGenerate. Hmm. What are your thoughts about Pegpaga mod MFS? What? Hola, hola, Gappy. Oh, Ellen, when will you stop mooching off others? You know, I used to watch Ellen DeGeneres because I thought she was cute. <laughs> 
I, th I thought she was cute. That is the start and end of it. Hmm. You do you remember the do you remember the page of um, karaoke on Wikipedia? Let's see let's see what it looks like now. There you go. It's gone. The Philippine uh, there used to be a there used to be uh, two separate entries for the invention of karaoke. Hello, Linux Pi. <laughs> Hello, Levatin. There used to be two separate entries for the invention of karaoke. One of them was the Japanese one, and one of them was the Filipino one. And it was like par they 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 framed it as parallel development. In Japan and in the Philippines. Hmm. This is the only. This is the only line that's left. There was a point in time. I think it was in like 2016. Where, the entirety of the Filipino uh, invention of karaoke or like or like whatever we invented in karaoke, was. Uh, removed the karaoke creator died a week ago jesus i i don't I, like see right right look at look at this From his initi initiative to patent a karaoke system first, he is frequently, uh, by arguably, referred to as the inventor of the karaoke. Did they give a reason? Um, I don't know. It was it was it was mostly people fighting. It was mostly people removing, adding it, removing, adding it, removing, adding it, etc., etc. But you know, you know my contribution to Wikipedia? You know my contribution to Wikipedia, guys? <laughs> I added this word <laughs> a long time ago. Uh, a long, 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 long time ago. Like maybe back in 20, 2010, 2010. I added P drama. <laughs> it's stuff there. It's still there. I was I was a little kid and I was like, oh man, J drama. It's like P drama. <laughs> I'm gonna change it to P drama. <laughs> Better than PH drama, I guess. Uh, you, you know, you know what my favorite thing about, you, you know what my favorite thing about Filipino Wikipedia articles is. Uh, look at this. This article contains excessive or irrelevant examples. Wh why does it contain excessive or irrelevant examples? Because it says, uh, ABS CVN gulong ng pal ko, ko written by blah blah blah. Uh, ABS-CBN, ABS-CBN, Golden Age of ABS-CBN, GMA. <laughs> they, the, they're literally, they are literally um, astroturfing this Wikipedia article. They do it all the time. They do it in like Philippine music. They do it to P-pop. They do it to um, most notable and actresses uh what is this any p drama that you like uh yeah i i like pepito manaloto yeah pepito manaloto is really good 
Pepito, Manaloto. Na 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 I, I would have to wait for two hours of P-Drama before they start playing cartoons. <laughs> Alright, you guys watching P-Drama. Look at this. Why shouldn't we call it P-Drama? <laughs> because it went... <laughs> I just I just slapped it on when I was a kid. You know, I I like the word teleserie. Prama. This is thank you for great society this good contributions to society P drama. Or is there a dog? Yeah, there is a dog. Hmm. Did you know there's a Japanese version of the uh, Japanese Pepito Manaloto. Yeah, we we can listen to this. We can listen to this. そう<笑> Can you cover this? I can't. <laughs> and there's even like there's even like the 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 spin off of Pepito Menaloto. Yeah! Take care, Plasma! Yeah! You always hear the comments of Sukiya! Sleep well, Gabby! I like this song too. Pepito Manalotto was made after some Pinoy won a record. Oh, really? Like, they really did win a record. They really did win it.
The Japanese of Tom and Jerry? No, I haven't. I think I think that one is a little too um, copyright. It slaps kind of hard though. Yeah, it does slap kind of hard. Mm. Earlier, John Cross was saying like he wishes uh, the rock stars still filled the radio. But uh, very recently, I think in the last 10 years, there was uh, there was a bill that was passed or like a, a, a like a ruling that was passed to play Filipino songs on the radio. I think at least to two, two or four songs per hour. Like it was, there was like a required amount of local songs per hour. So yeah, 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 yeah. That is a that is a requirement for radio is in the Philippines. That is why uh, there it, you hear like Filipino songs on radios again after not hearing it for a while. Hmm. I used to be really into the mu in the music scene. Does radio not play local song before the law? They did. They did. They just weren't required to. Go to sleep, bro. You're right. It's 1.30 a.m. That is about it for me. Thank you very much for uh, listening to me ramble on about culture and TV and drama and uh, radio. Um, tomorrow we are playing Persona 3 Reload at 10 p.m. at night. So everybody has a chance to rest. I have a chance to rest too. So thank you very much and Otsuteru. Bye bye.